Hey everyone, it's me Laura from The Papered Soul and I'm coming to you to share a journal that I made uh, as a design team project for Ellie at Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. The name of the kit is um, Soul Garden and um, it's a beautiful kit. Um, last month I did some, created some elements and made a video of showing you some elements that I made from her kit and I actually was thinking of doing a two signature um, journal and I think what I'm gonna do is just make another journal because they both were getting so full and and chunky so I decided to break them out into two journals. Uh, so maybe not all of the elements in that video will be in this journal. It'll probably be, you know, in the next one if you don't see it in this one. Um, so this is, I'll give all the dimensions, but this is basically probably a, probably a, with the cover an eight and a half by, you know, five, but I'll put it in there, uh, in the description below. I did a lot of sewing around everything. <laughs> I've got burlap under this little book plate that says Soul Garden. I have burlap under here with a um, silk flowers and a sewn button on, and then I have some buttons over here off to the side. Um, just kept the spine simple and clean. Like I said, it's one signature, but it is a chunky one. There's a lot of detail in this journal. Um, and then I have on the back my little name, um, The Papered Soul, with some uh, burlap, kind of like a mint green burlap and a, and a pink button. And a really pretty shabby chic, you know, bow. So you can see there. Okay. I've got buttons hanging out of the side too, um, or down from the middle. Uh, so they're hanging down and that was a fun little element too. So let's get going. I will say, um, I wanted to say before I forget, Ellie, when you go to her shop, if you if you find that you love this kit, and I'm telling you, this kit is beautiful. It's got so many beautiful colors, beautiful images, and just so many things that you can do to create a really uh, pretty journal with. Uh, so when you go to her shop, she offers the print and ship uh, option with all of her kits. So if you didn't want to use your ink or you know, whatever the reason, if you wanted her to print them out for you, the kit out for you, she can print it out and mail it to you. So on the inside, I did have, uh, I wanted some card stock paper um, for the inside just to help my cover. It's a soft, flexible cover, but it's also got some sturdiness to it, and that's what I wanted. It's made from a file folder, if I didn't say that before. I've got two layers of fabric. I've got muslin under here, and then the, the, my, the my main yellow fabric over the top. I've pinked the edges, so it's got just kind of a fun little shabby, shabby shape to, uh, appeal to it. Uh, this paper is from English Rose Garden uh, Paper Pad from Michaels. Um, I fussy cut the flowers on the front cover, inside front cover, and then the back cover. So, the, and I backed them with uh, cardstock. I mean, I think I did coffee dye paper, but I backed them so that they're sturdy, so you can actually use the pocket. I didn't put anything in them. This journal has a lot going on, and I thought I'd save that space for whoever gets this journal. This is the pretty, um, one of the pretty pages that she created. It's got a flourishy design and then all these beautiful yellow and pink flowers. And my son, let me see if I can adjust my, woo, there's your big, ah, let me see. Hold on, let me get that. There we go, the sun's going in and out so it's a little hard to gauge, so <laughs> you had a light show there. Um, okay, so then here's another beautiful image. It says, why does my garden grow? And then I have some extra paper here under this little tuck. This tuck is from an envelope in her kit. I've got stenciling, edge punching, all throughout the, throughout the journal. Here's her envelope, and that flips up. You can put items in that envelope. So it is attached just to create that tuck spot. Um, just put a little alterations tag here and a little tag that I stamped with some birds on it. Uh, I've got a cute little pocket down here and it's been sewn. Here's her fun little tabs. She's got little roses on them and number one, number two, number three, number four. I love those tabs. So stamping, sewing, edge punching, coffee dye papers, pattern papers that I've added to it to complement her kit. 
I stamped and decoupaged that little butterfly on that tag. Um, here's a pretty tag in Ellie's kit, and so I turned that into a journal card there. Got a little envelope you can put things in. I've got stenciling, washi tape to kind of match this beautiful page. Now, in the video, I did a video, the last video I did um, for last month, I was working with um, elements uh, for Soul Garden, this kit. And I made some fun little, you know, showing you just little things you can make, creative things you can make to go in your journals. This is actually an elements page, but I loved it so much I wanted it as a page in my journal as well. But it's actually her elements page that you can, this is the envelope you can cut out and these are the tags and stuff like that. So, but I just loved it, so pretty. So I also cut, cut one up, but then I use this as my, as a journal page. So that was pretty, pretty, I uh, lined paper. I uh, printed lines out on that pretty purple paper. Here's another fun, I did make this in the, in the video. Actually, I, I already had it made, but I was showing you guys. So it's a circular uh, tag I sewed around it. I added some pretty paper, bling, eyelash trim, made a pocket out of it. You can flip up and journal. You can journal on the other one that's a small one. She has a lot of elements. She's got two sets of circles, they're different sizes. I think I made these larger, but you can, you know, play around with the sizing if you want to, but she put, you know, two different sizes in there for you anyway. Another pretty page, all kinds of, like a wildflowers that you would see in a garden. Uh, that's one of my favorites, it says work of heart. And it's got a tag, you know, that to match it. I turned it into a Hermelinda tag, put a pretty bow on it. Got like a new stamp I got, we'll talk, uh, I'm gonna do some, videos with some of my stamps, I think. Um, real pretty library card, and it's just so cute, so I made a journal out, journal spot out of it. Quotes, um, I sewed around this. My garden of flowers is also my garden of thoughts and dreams. I did crocheting directly on the page here. It's a light, soft lime green. So I've been wanting to do that for a very long time, and I finally got to do it. So that's directly on that page. Uh, I've got a pocket here, it says my heart, my soul, I stamped on there, I did stenciling. Um, here's a tag I made and um, it's the, got a um, quote that says, you're always a welcomed guest in my garden. And I used the uh, guest check as the base for that tag. Uh, did decoupaging and stamping and everything. And here, and I just thought it was so pretty with her a little circular tag there. You can put a picture here. You can, you know, journal on it if you want to. Anyway, it's got coffee dye paper on the back you can journal. Very pretty. So here's another beautiful tag that I made uh, or, or journal card that I made um, out of one of her lovely images. So the, I think the big, the, the big thing is, why does my garden grow to please my soul? And a garden, when you just sit out, I was sitting outside just a while ago and the bees were going to the flowers and the birds are chirping and flying and it's just butterflies. I mean, it's just, it does please your soul. It satisfies, it just kind of calms you down and gets you centered and quieted and it's, it's wonderful. But anyway, beautiful image there, the pinks and the greens. Like I say, it's on coffee dyed paper, it's sewn, so it's sturdy, you can journal on it. Um, just did a little flip up here. You can write, there's a pocket there, flip this open and you can have all that journaling space. I did a quote, we might think we are nurturing our garden, but of course it's our garden that is really nurturing us. And then I just stamped out a little tulip, little thing of tulips there. Thought that was complimentary to her real pretty flower image there. These pages have like a notebook paper kind of background. It's real soft and subtle. She's got the, the little flourishes. I know you might, the camera might not pick up all those details. These are little poppies on the back of this pretty paper she has. So I did another pretty tag there from her paper with my belly band. These are some elements in her kit, Soul Garden. Did some stamping. 
This was just some of my pattern paper, but I just thought it was kind of fun and vintage -y. It looked pretty with that rose. Uh, here's another one of her pretty cards um, or her tags. And, and I made a fun little tag here. It's a pocket there, but I like that rose that I stamped on it. You can journal on that. I like that rose to complement her rose. That's a beautiful rose. This is almost like the echo dyeing look, uh, echo paper. So I guess that's what it is, and it's just so pretty. It's so soft and natural and organic, um, but you can journal all over that. This is one of the pockets I made um, with her shrinking down the pa one of the pages that I made, and it was a floating journal card, but I did put it down so they don't have to float unless you want them to. And um, I just put a little rickrack on it and everything like that. So there's a pocket here, and there's also a pocket. I got it in there so that you can put something behind the entire pocket there. So I just have these in the front. Have some sequin trim. These are some elements from her kit as well. Little, little buttons, little tapes. And so I just stamped out bloom and just kind of made it look like that tape was, you know, just taped it onto the page take that sentiment onto the page. I stamped, uh, had that Tim Holtz stamp that is a poppy, and I thought that was pretty with these little poppies on her lovely page. So you can journal all around there. And this is one of her pages in the kit, and it's got the little it tape where it looks like these little pieces of paper are just taped to that page. It's one of my favorite pages. There's my little library card stamp again. So I made a journal card out of that and I stamped a rose and colored it. I kind of wanted it to to look, you know, play off that little rose right there in her kit. I have uh, one of her little tabs here that I thought would be cute. Um, and I've used it as a little tuck spot. So I had some little teeny tags and then I had a little off cut of the inside cover so I thought well I'll just stick that there and then put these little tags in just kind of fun I did this is one of her little elements here where it looks like a just a little torn piece of a old wrinkled um, file folder and I stamped notes on it and I put washi tape to hold it on here's another beautiful one of her uh, images that I made a, a very large journal tag. So all this journal space, gobs of journal space. In the middle of the signature, it is sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. That's usually how I sew them in. I want them in nice and secure. And I added uh, two little buttons and just let the string be long where it'll hang outside the journal. You could tie that up if you want to, but I just thought it'd be fun to have a little movement there. These are little elements, and so what I did is I took this poppy flower and I put it on top of that to make it look like a framed poppy. It is a little um, tuck spot, so someone can put something there if they want to. I just thought that would work well with this little corner piece down here uh, that's printed onto her paper. Pretty poppies. Here's a pretty little journaling card she had. It's got graph paper um, in the background and then the overlay of those pretty flowers. Um, I made a little tag. I thought that butterfly, if I decoupaged him on, it would kind of play off the colors on that page. And I just was having fun with that. Um, I said, birds chirping, $10. It's a guess check. Butterfly gazing, 15, picked my favorite flowers, 12, and then I put garden view, priceless. I just had a little fun with that. This is just for decoration only. You can put a quote up there if you want to, or a special word or whatever. Did some decoupaging, did some light word stamping there, but you can journal all over that, all over these pages. More stenciling, look at that beautiful picture there. Beauty of the Earth, that beautiful blue flowers. I've got a little po side pocket here. Don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden and decorate your own soul. And I thought that was an apropos uh, quote for this journal. And there's the pretty tag that matches and I put some pretty yellow ribbon on that. 
This is one of the journal cards that I made. You'll see that in that video. And that's that's that pretty uh, elements page that I used and was cutting things up. And I kind of was trying to use this as a tuck and I wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna fall out. So I put that little tag there. Both of those are elements. All of these are elements in her kit. Isn't that pretty? This is an envelope I've had for a while. I was making it and playing around and finally found the perfect place for it. And this is it, because this paper just has so many pretty colors in it. And um, so this is one of those envelopes that I stamped on and inked and sprayed coffee on and was just really making it put up. I was making it nice and rich. And uh, sewed ribbon, put buttons. This is a stamp, and if you... You might not be able to see it very well, but it's a, a lady's face. It's a stamp of a lady's face looking at a dragonfly and possibly, you know, her, her garden. And then on the back, you know, I did some fun decorating with that. So there's an envelope there. You can certainly put some things in and store some things in. I did some stenciling, and here's her beautiful card again. That, that's um, the image that's on the front. But it's a, she's got two images like that. One has a, the golden yellow all behind it, and the other one has some white and yellow. This was one of the envelopes that I made in that video last month, and I stenciled all on the inside. And let's see here. Wouldn't help if I would. And then I have that little ticket there as a closure, so I've got a pretty tuck there. Here is the other uh, crochet that I did directly onto the page, and that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's, that's like a kind of a light periwinkle blue, periwinkle lavender color. Love that. Got a stamp here of a little gal in her garden, some bees. Pretty, pretty mixed arrangement of flowers there on her papers. Here's a pretty tag. And I sewed around it. It's got the little journal tag there. You can do more journaling. Journaling all over that ledger paper. I have a paint chip that I did some stamping in just for fun. I backed the um, backed it with coffee dye paper as a journal card. And of course, this pocket has you know stenciling in it as well. I have this little plain bag that I did some stamping on. I made this in that, that little elements video I did, and this is one of her pretty journal cards that you could put something here, you know, another little tuck element. You could just journal something here, put a picture there. Here's her beautiful image on a little tag, and I just stuck that in the bag. I like the flowers poking out. So, um... I decoupaged a butterfly, and I'm gonna put stickles on the tip of that. I haven't done that yet, but I'll always like to put stickles for some color, a little vibrant color. But anyway, I've just got Lucky's flying onto the page, you know. That's the other side of that pretty elements page she had. And that's the other side with the pink tickets at the top. So I have a cute little tag here with a bunny, because. I don't think a garden is complete without your little bunnies. And it's got the little pocket there for him to sit in. And this flips up in there. Got some extra paper. And then this is one of the little booklets I made uh, with extra paper uh, and just used the shape of her tag to create that. And I just put a little bit of a purple in purple applique there just to give it a little textile. I thought that was pretty. That's a beautiful tag. I made a pocket. Um, this is one that was an image of hers that was printed out on vellum and I backed it with coffee dye paper, sewed around it, and made it a pocket out of it. So just, that's a nice sturdy pocket. This is one of her fun. I love bingo cards. I love them. And so made a card out of that, but that was in her kit as well. And then more of her little fun tabs, number three and number four. I was going to have some tabs on this one too, but you know, we have our little 
things. I wasn't lining it up right, and then my paper got glue all over it, and so what I did is I had to cut it down, and I just thought I'd run a ribbon through it. So, it works. You just work with your mistakes. It, it works out. Might not go as you planned it, but you can always make something cute with it. I have a fun little bird paper clip to hold this booklet in. And I made this little booklet. It's got a pocket here, something there. I've got stenciling, ledger paper, coffee dab paper. I left that open like that. You can glue it down if you want to um, and make it a full pocket, but I just thought you could slide some stuff in there. And I sewed it in like a regular signature. And same thing with that one. You know, you, you can, if you want it down, you can. And... There you go. So I just separated it in the middle and I just drape it over this um, pattern paper. I like, I love the pattern papers, but sometimes you can have some that are really, really, they're pretty and you need them, but, and they're really strong though. And sometimes a really strong, strong, strong color, I like to kind of, um, I like to kind of tone it down a little bit, put something kind of over it so it's not so, but, this is a flip out, that flips out. So there's all kinds of stenciling journal space in there and I edge punch that as well. And that's a pretty image and there we go. And that finishes it up. So there's my journal and um, I hope you like it. It will be listed in my Etsy. I am, it is for sale and um, I really enjoyed working with this. And like I say, I have another one that I'm doing where uh, of the same kit and I will present it in a little bit different way. It'll be a lot, some, some elements will be the same, but then some of the colors, papers are different and things like that might have some different elements with it as well. So thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate your patience and your support and I hope to be coming to you with a new video soon. Thank you so much. Bye.